So Good morning. Film every day, we said. It'll be great, we said. Yeah. We didn't really account for the fact that every single person in this house right now is not doing as they're told and, and we are still committing to filming everything. And there was this bit of me that thought lockdown wasn't going to last longer than Easter. I did say, <laughs> yeah. I did publicly go on record and said, ah, we'll all have blown over after Easter. So uh, feel free to remove that uh, from the records, Your Honour. We, we need the hairdressers to open. We need the hairdressers to open. Look at this. Well, that's your cut on him. He won't let it? me touch him. Yeah, but he's two, so he can have that. Boris, look You're right, Jojo. It. Joseph was very insistent on being in his mummy's lap today, which he, he which does. Which he is. Because he wants some toast, which is next. So, right. So today, we're going to talk about us. Oh, we always about us. My, my, my way of asking that was way better than that. <laughs> well, basically, we're bored. We're really bored. And I started yesterday's vlog really upbeat and fantastic and woo. And then by the end of the day, yesterday's day, I was in the foulest of moods. The yes. foulest of moods. And I think I'm just a bit bored. So today, we're going to do three things you don't know about me and three things we don't know about Alan. And Alan's going to tell you about me and I'm going to tell you about Alan. Mainly because we've got nothing else to talk about. Right, right. That's rubbish, OK? No, that's not true. What we want to do, we really would like to get to know you a bit more and in the oh, process... Oh, you we're making gonna... our reason. Yeah, but yours was rubbish. <laughs> We're going to, we really like to get to know you a bit more. So what we would also like you to do, please, is in the comments below, a couple of things about yourself that you don't always talk about or don't ever talk about in your marketing for your business, you know. So that one of my three does get referenced, but um, we don't. You don't know what I'm going to talk about. Well, I do, because we made a list, because actually this is the second take. For the first time ever, we're re-recording because it just went wrong. Um, and we have made a list because it went wrong in a couple of places. One was a kid-based one, and the second one was I couldn't think of anything to talk about Emily, which upset Emily, but then that's just how my head works. 14 years we've been together and you couldn't think of any facts about me. No, I could, but you told me that one was boring, and I'm like, yeah, but you are, and that's all I could come up with. Anyway, I'm going first. Uh, Emily, my one fact about Emily, is in the top 3%. It was. Oh, my God. And we're going to fall out for the second day in a row if this carries okay. on. Don't, don't worry about the woods, the is, the semantics. Just deliver the fact. Emily was in the top 3% for Menza when she was a child. So could still be in the top 3%, but don't really know how it works. But basically, she did a test once and came out in the top 3% in the country for Menza. When I was 16, they screened every 16-year-old in the country. The whole lot did a blank. Demon headmaster, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whole exam and I was never really good at maths screened yeah I was never really good at maths turns out I'm pretty intelligent I was gonna talk to not that we've got a totalitarian uh, you know government screening every 16 year old right anyway I've got a certificate count so yeah yeah no it does count don't don't diss it don't dismiss it you you show evidence of being that clever most days um whereas I on the other hand are all mouth and no trousers right that's not totally correct Alan Alan are you doing this without looking at the list as well? That's impressive. I know you implicitly. Honestly, there's nothing we don't already know about you anyway. Alan is a world record holder, was a world record holder. It's been broken now. Yeah, so I set the world record for the longest loo roll chain in the world at the time. Officially recognised by Guinness, got a certificate. We talked about it before. And um, yeah, that's, that's um, I'm sure I said if you were going to sit here, we needed to keep the noise to a minimum. Um, so yeah, up there is above the yellow tuxedo in white is the 939th loo roll chain, which was how long my loo roll chain was. That was a fun few months collecting all of them. Yes, but now we're wishing we had them all because that would be craft for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> right, my next one on Emily. So I've got to read this one. It's a bit long winded. Emily has a Winston Churchill Memorial Trust Fellowship and got... I can't believe you Camilla. have to read it. No, I didn't need to read it. I needed to just make sure I got that bit in the right order. Um, basically, she's a fellowship of the Winston Churchill Memorial Trust and got to meet Camilla Parker Bowles, who is the patron of it. And I was really upset that... Joseph, when, buddy, when this I, is quite noisy. When I went and received my medal and my certificate, um, she couldn't even stand up to shake my hand because she'd broken her leg. But what we did, rock and roll style, we went up to the Houses of Parliament, was it? I can't I knew it was somewhere like that. In London, we dressed up, and we went up to get her medal and to meet Camilla Parker Bowles. And then we got a National Trust bus, bus back, which was ridiculously hot and sweaty. No, a National Express bus back. What did I say? National Trust back. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I had a good night's sleep last night. I am certainly not showing those signs. Um, right. Alan, oh, it's over to you. 
Alan has rubbish GCSEs. He didn't get very good GCSEs. Oh, no, no, no. I passed my nine okay. GCSEs. However, he got one A. One A, one B, two Cs, five Ds. His A was in drama. In 1994. Who knew? Ta-da! <laughs> I did that joke on the first take as well. I quite liked it. Anyway, yes, uh, academia is not my strong point. Uh, nor is, actually, I'm not actually that creative, really. And, uh, um, stupidity is probably my strong point. Um, anyway, that's uh, that's me. Emily's final fact, because we're only going to do three, because we'd also decided that five was too many, was uh, Emily has a phobia, alleged phobia of helicopters. No, it is a phobia of helicopters. Well, I've seen a helicopter fly past and you not do anything. But anyway, Emily has an alleged phobia of helicopters. She does have a bit of a phobia of helicopters. If you've seen any action movie ever, across the entire globe ever every single helicopter that's in the sky ends up in the ground if you ever watched er in the in the, nine, the late 90s the dude had his arm chopped off not once but twice no, that is true in hollywood i cannot think of any helicopter scene that ended well I'm, I'm, no I'm a happy adrenaline junkie. I've jumped out of planes. I've jumped out of... You know, was that just a crowbar for you to I get know. all the rest I've of I've done bungee jumping and stuff. However, I was watching SAS Who Dares Wins the other day and looking at them all having to do a free jump out of a helicopter. I could do the jump. I just wouldn't get in the darn helicopter to start with. No. And there must be some Hollywood films where the helicopter got away safely. Like, I can think of some war film where perhaps they rescued the people on Escape and Evasion and took them off, you know, into uh, the sunset. Even in Extraction last week, they started shooting at the helicopter Even and it in yeah that's true the helicopter did crash in an extraction the helicopter never survives I'm quite a tall girl as well and I remember reading it when I was a kid in a paper that some yes. dude came back from the military and his daughter came running down to the helicopter and he picked her up to be, and he, she cut, his, cut her head off yeah nice and in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade uh, Bomber Wilson for those off of the 80s um, Pat Roach, I think his name was Bomber Wilson. His um, either was he an Alveda same pet or British wrestling at the time, but uh, I think it was Pat Roach. He got chopped up, didn't See? he? There it's we go. Not worth. Never the time. Oh, actually, that wasn't a helicopter. That was an aeroplane. My mistake. Sorry, Indiana Jones and Last Crusade fans. Right. Okay. And then Alan, his last fact. He is a qualified mountain leader. Yes. Not that I he am. talks about that either. No, well, I said, Emily, do talk about scouting. He said, we always talk about that. And I said, well, I don't think I talk about that as much as I talk about other things. But yeah, so I started walking in the mountains at 14 and uh, with scouts and um, yeah, really enjoyed it and sort of went on due to the scouting I was with, Hampshire Scout Expeditions, uh, to become a qualified mountain leader, and then, yeah, have taken scouts and groups into you've, the mountains. You've climbed some very cool mountains over your time. Yeah, yeah, well, I've, you know, we, we, we sort of done uh, the UK Three Peaks a couple of times, taking groups on that, done um, a lot of the stuff in the UK. I haven't done loads abroad. I mean, I've, I've trekked the Trail de Mont Blanc, so around, there's a 100-mile route around Mont Blanc. I've done that. Uh, Kilimanjaro, but I, I wasn't. I wouldn't say I was a mountaineer per se, um, but I would say I'm a mountain leader. He's so happy kind of in walking. the hills. Yeah, I do. I do miss the hills. I, I didn't know if I did. Sometimes you do these hobbies because that's what you do, not because that's what you love. I'm an overthinker. That's what I am. So I think about overthink these things. Um, so I couldn't work out whether I actually loved being in the mountains or um, just did it because that's what I did. Um, but no, I, I do. I do miss it. And. Proud parent moment. Going to finish on a proud parent moment. Uh, we asked Olivia Rose first place she'd like to go when um, she lockdown is, lockdown is over, and it wasn't mountains. So this is kind of a segue. And the answer was a beach, and the point being is actually I'd probably rather be on the beach than in the mountains if it was up to me. Right, that's it. Should we finish there? Let us know in the comments one fact that we don't already know about you. Yeah, something you don't regularly use in your marketing, or something you use but just not that often. And um, we would really love to know that, and then uh, yeah. We'll Right, have an amazing day. Bye. <laughs> You're a monkey.